Okay, yay, it worked. I've been struggling to get this thing to work. I don't know why I have to put my mouse. It used to not be this way, but or I have to get right down on the mic, but here we go. I wanted to do a video. I did a short trip. Uh, this, uh, well, last, uh, when was it? Last weekend. I, I wasn't planning on doing one uh, last weekend. And uh, this one came on the board uh, to Anna, Illinois, a short trip. And it was a dollar ninety-five pay. And this delivery location is only two hours from my house. So uh, it was a real short um, deadhead back home. And... Um, uh, you know, same trip up to get the camper, but a short trip home, and I only was gone a day and a half. I left out on, see, Friday morning. I got up there, got it uh, hooked up, and uh, drove probably four hours or so toward Anna, maybe five, and I think it's a seven-hour trip. And then I only had a couple hours the next morning and then two hours back home. So, you know, a day and a half. Uh, and I, I, I believe I haven't, I've done the calculations on this, but I haven't compared uh, it to anything. I'll do that here at the end once we get this numbers. To, but I'm pretty sure that this one is going to pay more per day or per hour than those long trips. Um because of the deadhead, I mean, only a couple hours. I think this is going to be the way to do it. Uh, you know, if you live close to Elkhart, you don't have this problem uh, because your deadhead to get it is nothing. But uh, for us that live far away, we've got, you know, for me, it's six hours, uh, five to six hours, depending on traffic and everything. But, um, and then, you know, after the delivery, we've got to drive back home. So if I can find these close to home, I may start doing more of them. Um, as you can see here, it was um, um, to Anna, Illinois, Fun Town over there. Uh, it was a Sabre fifth wheel. It was uh, about 12,000 pounds, about 43 feet, 427 miles, $1.95, uh, one night and a day day and a half um the pay was uh 832.65 here's the deductions again the efs fees the pull-in fee was 25 this time instead of 35 and the insurance bond five percent basically of this number and again i'll have to pay this until i get to fifteen hundred dollars and uh then i won't have that anymore so that'll be some additional money um, the total payout was $763. Now, but before on the other ones, um, I, I, uh, calculated the fuel based on the fill ups and how much it cost me. And then I tried to keep it at a half a tank coming in, leaving and coming in. I've tried to work it out where it was half a tank this time. I couldn't. I filled up here 425 and I'll talk about the fuel costs here in a minute. It's getting ridiculous. But um, instead of doing that from now on, I'm going to do it this way. Uh, I'm going to figure out the uh, miles without uh, hauling anything, no hauling, uh, no camper attached, and then the mileage based on the uh, hauling the camper. So that way i can figure up like i get 16 miles per gallon that's a good average for me for no uh no load and then uh nine uh for this trip i'll figure up what it is for the trip whenever i uh figure up what i'm when i'm hauling something so in this case it was nine miles per gallon it was a little i got it up this time because i stayed around 60 to 65 instead of 65 to 70 on this trip uh, just to conserve because uh, <laughs> this trip hit when the fuel prices went up a dollar overnight. So it's freaking ridiculous. It's getting hard to make money at this. But um, 
So the total was 78 gallons. And what I'm going to do is this is most of the fuel on this trip was off of this this one and the previous my uh, previous fill up, which was about 350. So this is more than probably what the fuel had cost me on this trip. Uh, but what I'll do, like on the next trip, uh, since I've probably got about four fifths of the tank at this rate, four dollars, uh, four dollars and twenty five cents, excuse me. I will use that number and then whatever other fill up I have, whatever the price is, and I'll use that as uh, average as the price per gallon. So in this case, um, is total. You have to figure up the gallons for each um carrying a load and or uh, without a load and with a load and then you get the total gallons used and the average price per gallon that came out to be three hundred and twelve dollars. Uh the def was twenty and it comes out with a total of four thirty one oh five that uh, I made on this trip. Now I'm not gonna get into all the taking in the wear and tear and all the other expenses I've said this before that comes out on my income statement and you know you if you want to factor in what the insurance cost is per trip and there's so many different you know you can even deduct your cell phone you use and, and it's just an, I'm not going to go into that this is the way I'm going to assume that I made 431 on it I know there's extra expenses that come out of that but they're going to come out of every trip so uh, there's no need to do that uh, it's called depreciation and I may do a video maybe on that I'm not an accountant but I've had a small business for a long time different types of small businesses and and if you don't have a small business by the way you need if you don't do this do something there's so many deductions you can take um, it's you just wouldn't believe it um, I, well that's, I don't guess that's a very good way to put it, but there's deductions you can use to take off of your income so you have less taxes and that money is yours. So anyway, I got off the tangent here. 431.05 uh, for one and a half days. This is the number I wanted to check on. So 431 divided by 1.5 days is $287 a day. I believe that's going to beat. I've got Conroe, my last haul to Conroe, Texas. Uh, it came out to 927 and it was 3.5 days. So 927 divided by 3.5 equals 264 well it's pretty close uh, but about twenty dollars more on the on the short trip so I mean these long trips are good I like doing them uh, but if I'm not this one paid a dollar seventy um, and the fuel prices as you can see were less so um, every fuel cost was less so you know if that was a dollar 90 shoot that would have come out better probably um uh, but so i'm you know from now on with the fuel cost so high I, there was one that came on the board today to kentucky another one about a couple of hours from my house but i did the numbers on it even though it was paying a dollar 95 it's still i was going to make I was going to make 220 which you know that's not bad uh it would have been actually heck i might no i couldn't have done it in one day but it would have been another one and a half day deal and um so you know i i don't know just it's taking uh this fuel cost i might even start looking into um tow and haul find me a uh, truck where i can haul one and tow one take two and make more money on the trips if, if the fuel is not going to go down any um, it's a lot more work and it takes a lot more time to get things loaded but 
the pay should be better. I know the fuel cost will probably be more because that will take more fuel. So I, you, I'd have to average that. I'd have to look into that part of it too. It may average out the same. But anyway, this is what I made on this Anna, Illinois trip. I wanted to share that with you all. I don't know if I'm going to do a vlog on this. I did take some video, but all I had was my phone with me. It was kind of an unexpected trip. I uh, didn't have much time to prepare. I just signed up for the load and took off the next morning. So um, I may not do a vlog on this one. But anyway, here's what I made on it. I hope this helps you guys um, make decisions on whether you, you can make money at this RV hauling. Uh, so don't let the high fuel costs deter you from jumping in. You may want to hold off for a little bit, and but you can make money. You just got to calculate. For instance, from now on, I'm going to calculate this fuel uh, I will figure out the amount of miles, deadhead miles, and the amount of miles for the trip, and I will figure out what pre get pretty close to what my fuel costs, and I'll base it on. I'll use my EFS app. I showed you guys on one of the blogs. Uh, you can you can ma uh, map out your trip, and it'll tell you where the cheapest fuel is, and I'll just find the cheapest fuel and probably add a little more to it, that price to figure up. Uh, of course, I have to take into account uh, this 425 here and on my next trip, and then I'll see what the cheapest fuel is on on the road and then do an average and figure out about what my fuel costs are going to be so I can see, well, I'm going to make XX and my fuel cost is XYZ, and I'll know about what I'm going to make. So you can... You can um, uh, analyze this, and that's what I'm going to have to do with these fuel costs the way they are. Unless they raise the rates, uh, they raise the rates right before this dollar increase, overnight dollar increase in fuel. And I hope they don't think that the r rates were raised for the current price of fuel because they weren't. They were for the price of fuel increased before this last increase so i'm hoping our rates increase uh more uh and it, they need to because um, a lot of us are n not going to make too much money i mean I, i'm doing okay i'm not too worried about it but I'm, i am going to check closely i'm going to watch more closely and figure a little more on what I'm going to make on the trip before I jump on one. So anyway, rambling on here. Hope this helps. Uh, please like and subscribe. And if you want more content like this, there's a bell notification I found out <laughs> that you can click and they will notify you when I put a video up. So all right, hope this guy help you guys and we will talk to you later.